So, I'm not really sure why I decided to make this video today. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Can't a hoe tell me shit. Cause bitch, I'm the shit. Oh, my mom and my sis had to kick my own blood out. just wanting to be a little bit more open with you guys so that we can all relate especially on certain topics that it turns out a lot of people feel the exact same way about so gorgeous gorgeous girls I'll talk about mental health if you are new here, hi, I'm Mickey Silvera, XOXO, and on this channel you'll find videos on manifestation, law of attraction, I do videos on content as well so if you love vlogs story times fashion videos definitely hit that subscribe button don't forget to also follow me on instagram it's nikki silvera xoxo um i post some pretty instagram worthy photos so definitely check it out and yeah okay so based off this topic i'm sure that it's gonna get a pretty decent amount of views because it's been a topic on a lot of our minds, especially what it's caused a lot of us to experience. And, you know, I was feeling a little bit like I had imposter syndrome as of lately because um, a couple of days ago, I actually had a moment where I, wait. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you didn't already. Um, follow me on Instagram, it's Nikki Silvera, XOXO. And yeah, so now we can get into the video. I thought that once I started doing my daily meditations, once I started doing like all of these healthy practices, I thought that I was gonna be my inner being that I was reaching to have that connection with. I thought that my connection was gonna basically be all the time and I wasn't gonna be falling back into old habits. Let's fast forward and guess what had happened? Um, a couple days ago, I actually had a moment where I felt like um, I was having like an anxiety attack and basically like, like I was a poser. I said, how am I going to be posting videos about law of attraction and manifestation and zen like this and like that, my spiritual awakening. How am I going to be posting videos on this topic and look who is crying on her yoga mat. <laughs> but then I was talking to my boyfriend. So this is love. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend was telling me that it's okay that I was having that feeling of anxiety and it was okay that I had the anxiety attack, you know? Um, because here's the thing, we are all growing here. It's not like we've reached this moment of, okay, I've learned every single thing I need to learn about this topic. I know all the answers to anything related to law of attraction, manifestation, ask me a question, I know the answer. Um, no, that's no one. And you don't want to be that way because that's the way that you are thinking is the way to be that's like having a cup and that cup is full of uh, water and basically there's no more room to add any more water and the water would basically be like things that you learn in life like you never want to have your cup all the way full where you cannot get anything else added in because you always want to be growing in life like if you're alive you should always be ready to learn something new since that happened i know now how good it feels to feel good like i forgot how bad it feels to feel bad like i've feeling so good for so long i forgot what it felt like to not feel my best and so i think that little reminder reminds reminds me that it is very beneficial to continue with your healthy you know habits things that make you feel like you're connecting to your inner being because the more you have that connection and the more you hold that connection consistently throughout the day um, 
then when you don't feel aligned to that connection, you are able to spot it a lot faster. And then it's also good to not be hard on yourself because your inner being isn't being hard on you as much as you're being hard on you. I'm talking about this on my channel now because me not talking about it is kind of like me doing what people do that you shouldn't do. If you have a platform, you shouldn't be posting only happy things because there are some days where you don't feel as happy as you know you put on on social media and then when you do open up on those days like that's when you get like the most comments about people relating to that feeling the pandemic started and there are so many more people depressed than there has ever been and that's saying that we need to talk about like the elephant in the room and if everyone's talking about it then you won't feel as bad when you have those moments um, of falling into habits that you want to overcome and you will overcome those habits and you acknowledging those habits doesn't mean that okay well now like damn it like it's not like when that happens you should say well it's me it's when that happens you can acknowledge it and then you can just think about well what did I do to lead up to that and then that's where you work from that you work from there and you don't get back to habits of uh, woe is me and feeling down on yourself. You actually start realizing that, wow, my inner being is like so close to me right now because I am so much faster at forgiving myself. That's what you want to do in life. I don't know who had this saying, but like the saying is freaking true. You know, you don't have eyes on the back of your head because you know, you don't have them on the back of your head for a reason. You're not supposed to be looking back all the time. You should be looking forward. Looking forward is how I'm living my life and I've been doing that more often and it's been the best feeling. Ever since I started having more of that mentality where I don't get down on myself, um, this is just like as of lately because you know I told you like yes, a couple days ago I was like damn this sucks, imposter syndrome, here I go. But now it is a lot better because it's like we all have these feelings and I couldn't believe that so many people around me was feeling like like imposter syndrome or just feeling like, like they were not as happy as they used to be or just having moments where they were recently just like breaking down. People are not as put together as they appear all the time. It is good to, you know, show your true self online, especially if you have the audience who can actually find people that can relate to them in the comment section and just around the world. Like that is just like the best thing. So these are some of my prized possessions. Um, if you can see here, this is a mixture of some journals and also some of my books that I'm reading right now that have been helping me grow mentally. Let's talk about like these journals right now. Like, look how cute my journals are. I gotta flex real quick. So I don't know if you saw this one from Urban, but yeah, this is super cute. This is a journal that I use for my goals my daily goals, my 2022 goals. Okay, I hope that wasn't cheesy, but I hope that was also giving the Michael Scott like vibe from that episode. Do you guys remember that episode from The Office with Michael Scott pretending he was going downstairs? Like, let me know, like leave it in the comment section below. I definitely have mentioned these two books before. You guys have heard me mention these two books plenty of times. I've actually read both these books like more than once. And it's just that kind of book where the more you read it, the deeper it gets. Like the more impactful it is. Another book that I am actually in the process of reading right now is The Astonishing Power of Emotions. Who else is like a huge fan of Abraham Hicks? I don't like to get into this too much if like you're not into it. Like I only like to go into it if like someone asks me about it, but like if you are someone that's a fan of Abraham Hicks and like you know what I'm talking about, then like leave it in the comment section below because I always love talking to someone that also feels the same way about like our existence and like why we're here. I really recommend this book. Basically, it's one of those books where this book is preparing you for situations that you weren't even aware of. You weren't even aware that those situations had a positive response that you could have done in that situation and so with this book it's really cool because they also go into detail about particular things in life that you may not even think about you can literally change the outcome of situations in your life based off of the emotion that you put out but also it's letting you know that each emotion that you have is important like every emotion that you feel it's totally valid the way you feel there's nothing wrong with those emotions and they all mean something 
you are on your spiritual journey, it doesn't mean that you have to be happy all the time. It actually means that while you are not happy, because that's supposed to happen and that's what helps the world grow, like that's how we continue to create is through different circumstances that people go through and through everyone's own experience, their experience is helping the universe grow. So uh, every emotion is important and it tells you about like how to overcome situations when you um, are facing them and I forget where I was going with that but yeah this is a pretty good read and I highly recommend it and I'm still in the process of finishing it but I know that I'm already getting the benefits of it and I'm only like literally like a fourth of the way and so so I'm like so proud of myself because I've been really keeping up with my daily practices I don't know if I talked to you guys about like my daily meditation challenge that I wanted to do but I started the year off and that was one of my resolutions was to meditate every single day for the year 2022 it is towards the end of February and I can literally say that I've only missed one day um, and the one day that I missed the one day that I missed for meditating, it's so funny because I don't know why, but I needed to look into what would happen when I have that goal reached. I needed to look into like, okay, well, what's going to be like this new Nikki? And I just got like so unnecessarily like eager about that. I saw this one YouTuber and he mentioned that he did the daily meditation, but he didn't really have that many, that much of a good thing to say about it. Like I was expecting more of a life change kind of conversation. So I didn't do it for one day. And with those daily meditations, um, I noticed immediately when I didn't meditate that one day that I was, it was a lot easier for me to be able to get switched out of my good mood um, based off of like outside circumstances. And so with meditation for me, I just think it's so cool that the one day I didn't meditate, like I already noticed like, the benefits of the days when I was meditating. So now seeing that happen, it makes me realize that those meditations are impacting my life and it's in a good way. It's been in the best way. So I don't know too much about like that YouTuber. I forget even the name of the YouTuber that I was watching that did that meditation challenge, but I don't know like what his goal was with that, but I already had a goal going into this. It wasn't really like a goal. It just, I knew it was gonna benefit me in some kind of way. As of right now, what I'm noticing is <laughs> um, there's a certain feeling that you get, a sensation all over your body, just knowing that you you were able to silence and quiet your mind. Throughout the day, if I notice that I am not <laughs> as chill as I want to be, I can actually pinpoint that feeling and then try to reach that feeling throughout, like in my mind, even though I'm not actually like sitting on my yoga mat meditating and it's something that I noticed is a benefit from meditation. I mentioned this like so long ago. Um, I haven't really done a good job today but I've still been using this consistently. If you guys follow me on Instagram I've been posting like as I'm <laughs> trying to have this be part of my daily habit. Definitely follow me on Instagram, it's Nikki Silvera XOXO, so you can stay posted on just different things that I've been incorporating into my life that are helping me be as close to my inner being as I've ever been before. 